Welcome. This is May 24th, 2023. It's the Jenkins User Experience Special Interest Group. Thanks for joining. Topics I've got. What's happened recently in UI improvements, keyboard usability, and notifying end users of users of end of life. Any other topics we should add to the list? Tim, Alex, or Christina, any that you want to be sure we add? No, no I'm good. Okay, great. All right, so then the the for me the the big one is the prototype JS progress. Tim, thanks a bunch. Jenkins 2.406 as far as I understand it has removed all the prototype JS references from core. So core JavaScript no longer uses dollars dollars and no longer does all that kind of dirt. Tim, do you need to correct my misstatement or anything? Uh, no, it still ships with it. So it's still there on every page, but it doesn't use it. Right. So it ships ships prototype JS, but doesn't use it. Good. Okay. So that's, um, so now, now we're onto the next part, which is the sort of the long tail and that's the, the plugin tracking, or we can see it, we can see it in both places, right? If we look at the issue in Jira, what we see is look at these number of green dots on the left of work that's complete and now we get down to the oh and there are a bunch of plugins that need to have it removed from them and there are the plugin details for those that don't have an issue in in jira are also tracked in this plugin tracking sheet where basel's been recording which plugins have a release and which don't now there's also the feature flag available or the feature toggle available, which will allow a user to disable prototype in core. But right now, because script security still has needs to release with the fix and credentials, many places will immediately report that, hey, you need prototype. Tim, anything you want to share there any on the, the topic or how people can help? No, just merge PRs and release them and adopt plugins to release ones that need it. Thank you. So here's this blog post that Basel had created showing contributors how to do that, that kind of work. This is a, my sense is prototype JS is a more complicated removal than just a simple search. The way he describes in that blog post you have to look in many different ways and you may see some false positives. There may be things where you say, oh, that's okay. That's not okay. It, this, this requires a little more thought than the simple delete something. Mm, I wouldn't say it's terribly complicated. The blog post is pretty, it's got a, it's like a find command or a grip command that should find most instances. And it's got, um, a cheat sheet for how to translate most of them. They're generally pretty easy, easy. Each goes to for each. Dollar bracket goes to dot get element or or query selector. Um, they're generally pretty clear transitions. And anyone who is developing with any JavaScript um, will not will be using these methods normally. Ah, okay. So these these will not be unfamiliar to a JavaScript developer already. They've already been using this thing. And so for document.get element by ID is perfectly natural, whereas the dollars function is a, is very prototype specific. Well, that one's a bad example because people would have been used to jQuery from back in the day, oh. which used the same thing, but anything else, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, showing showing my lack of expertise in JavaScript. Thanks. Anything else you'd like to highlight there, Tim? Mm, no, I think I haven't looked at the spreadsheet recently, but I think um, it looked like there's PRs open for most of them. Yeah, certainly the 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 very popular ones. You can see that the the pull requests have been open for the popular plugins. And and those that don't have a pull request, yeah. So it's there's lots of work to do, and we encourage people to come help do it. Now, I was I was really 
pleased to see this comment from a note from Uli Hoffner that he's submitted a pull request to enable the built-in autosave for on data tables that was previously not feasible because of prototype JS. And, and so it's already, we're seeing a positive in, in influence on Jenkins in general by this work on removing prototype. Thanks. Sure, I mean, even with 2.406, you'd have to disable prototype on the page, I would assume, un unless there's some something Jenkins was doing. Um, I don't know, if, if you check the pull request itself, I would expect, yeah, to, you'd actually have to hit the toggle. Yeah, I would, I would bet you're right. This is, this is, this is, for me, this is an indication of hope, not a, gee, the perform, gee, it's done, right? This was the, the first indicator, oh, there's hope that this will not just reduce the amount of old, really ancient JavaScript, but also give us real improvements to UI. Yeah, no. Well, it means you can actually use JavaScript, well, JSON APIs properly, um, and it doesn't break frameworks and stuff. If you try it like right now, if you try and fetch and natively chain, and yeah, there's, there's plenty of ways right now where it just randomly breaks. Excellent. Thank you. So in terms of LTS availability, then as we progress, the this would then be in the next baseline after 2.401, so roughly three months from now. Yeah, and we can probably even change the feature flag default at some point, like because um, the code and core is all, is all done as far as we expect. Right. It's just, it's just the plugins that need sorting. Well, and that makes the next three months especially important for those plugins, right? F plugin fixes, because the more plugin fixes we get in, the more likely we are to be able to consider changing the, the state of that feature flag. Yep. Great. Thank you. Tim, anything else you wanted to highlight there? Nope. Okay, so on improved keyboard usability, Christina had started the the pull or the issue report with the initial translation and with the German original of the usability report, and I've seen a few pull requests already addressing issues reported here. Uh, this one was one that was noted. Now, Tim. I liked your comment here, or I think it was here. I had seen somewhere you had suggested, hey, could we could we use independent issues like we've done with prototype JS to track the details of each of these transitions, each of these steps? Uh, any guidance there? I assume what we need is someone to read the read the document and identify small chunks of functionality to be done. I'm happy to do that. Um oh. If no one else has put up their hand, um, that pull request is there. Yeah, so let me say, like, I was everyone's in Madrid this week, so I was like, this is gonna be my week. I'll I'll check it out and I'll tackle the accessibility. And I I pulled I had I'd done some to make sure that I you know would be able to work on it on my local environment. Pulled it yesterday, and I was like, and there's a skip content, and the bottlenecks are broken. <laughs> so thank you so much for whomever worked on that, the universe, the Jenkins universe. Um, and honestly, who, it'll be a lot faster if the work is done in the community, but I'm, I'm super happy and very comfortable if you want me to um, volunteer to break out that document into smaller issues or tasks. That would, that would be a big help in my, in my view. Okay. Tim, does that sound good to you? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be great if like, we pulled out into issues and then but easier awesome. for other people to work on. Then I can totally do that. Um, is there a tag on those pull requests for accessibility? Like, I'm just wondering if there's a way that I can make sure. Uh, maybe there is, you know, and I just haven't seen it. I'll, I'll, I'll look. I'll look at it. Um, because it'd be great if I could. Um, kind of see. There, there isn't, as far as I know. So let's okay. let's check that. 
this a let's see this one for instance i don't know that we're even using a label for accessibility so there's a bug ready to merge yeah could we maybe like is that possible that we could use an accessibility tag for for this type of work uh so we've got two two crucial people here tim jacome and alex brandis tim your comments what, what would you think yeah yeah fine that'd be awesome and Alex, I assume you'd be okay if we added a label for accessibility? Oh, sure. If it helps filtering, why not? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it live here because I think I have permission. And spell it for me, Christina. A-C-C-S-E-S-S-I-B-I-L-I-T-Y? -S -S -I -I yes. Yes. Okay, great. So let's Sorry, do a new label. Me. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, improve accessibility for user interactions how about that is that okay as a description um i guess since this is why more widely visible i think i would uh for i would specifically put improve accessibility per wcag guidelines oh okay good to make sure it's um, clear that it's like correlated to a guideline and not just a, a preference. Good. Okay. And pick your color. <laughs> I will leave that to you. <laughs> All right. Then it's, the color is chosen. All right. Perfect. All right. And then I'll make sure I follow that uh, label. Or tag. Right, and let me make sure that I've got a link to that label so that people know that. All right. Is the label okay? Good. Awesome. Any anything else on improving keyboard usability? It looked really great. Um, I was very very happy to <laughs> to pull that down. Great. Okay. Any other any other details on keyboard usability? Uh, no. All right, so next topic then was notifying users of end of life of their operating system. And this one is a pull request that I'd submitted. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Alex. You've both reviewed it and approved it. I set the 24 hour clock in case there are people who object. Otherwise, I plan to merge it in the next day or two. Um, we had a discussion as well in the platform SIG about possibly extending this just a little bit so that we can use it to announce the deprecation of container images when even when the operating system is not deprecated. Uh, so for instance, Alma Linux is one that we're considering, should we bother delivering a container image for the controller based on Alma when we've already got UBI, um, et cetera. So those kinds of things are being considered there. Any guidance either Alex, you or Tim want to give on things that need to be done there more than are already covered in the pull request? Nope. Okay. That covered all the topics I had today. Are there any other topics that people want to add to the agenda? All right, thanks then. We'll go ahead and close the meeting for today.